Hey Jacob and Lizzie, here's your machine. Um, I had a look inside before I turned it on um, and there was moisture inside indeed, so it was indeed leaking water and you can also see some signs of corrosion uh, on the solenoid valve over there, uh, some pitting around the bracket over here. Um, what I did first is I changed six of the o-rings, this is the maintenance items that I usually do. They can, lots of the time, they can be the cause for the leaks. In this case, uh, I changed them and there was still a leak. So, um, with the machine on and the back flush blank disc in place. So, this is going to block all the water flow. It's going to take the pressure all the way to the max. It's going to stress test all the thing, all the components, the pump, the gauge, the lines. Uh, and I, could, I ran this before the video and I could see a couple of leak spots from there and there on either side of the th three-way solenoid valve. Basically, connectors worn out need to be tightened or changed. I, um, from my experience, when I used to work at Breville, we would just change the entire thing. And now this is a hundred dollar part with labor. It's one twenty. Um, I don't want to charge you one twenty straight away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to recondition this valve. Looks like it's working fine. I mean, it's directing water where to where it should be. It's running water to the group head. Um, doing all the right things just leaking so i'll just change the seals on it and hopefully if it cross my fingers and see if it holds pressure uh from experience it should just to show you the leak quite expensive so and i'm gonna turn it off so that i don't get electrocuted um, but yeah, it's definitely a leaking water. I'll uh, fix that up and I'll update you via some photos, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Alrighty, success, success. This is the solenoid put back in place. I've done a full refurbishment on the solenoid. So uh, it actually turns out that that connector, so see that white pipe connecting to this black box? That connector looks like this. This is actually the one that you had. It was cracked. It was cracked just down there, as you can see. Um, replaced that. But also, I know that the seals can sort of have a bit of wear and tear on these, so I changed. Um, I flipped around the seals, so that's that there is a high pressure seal that goes to the grip head. And then that one over there is a low pressure seal. So I just flipped these around uh, to give that one a bit of a chance to stick and uh, not leak. And it is not leaking anymore, which is great. Um, I've let the machine dry for the past hour or so, uh, just so that it doesn't, you know, um, have any short circuiting or moisture during our testing. Uh, most of the moisture has dissipated. Now, as the machine heats up and turns on, mo more and more of the moisture will dissipate. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about the fact that it's a bit wet at the moment. I'll let it on. I'll let it open for the, um, for the night, uh, just to give it the best chance at drying out. Now, the portafilter filter is still connected, the blank disc is still in place. Let's put it at full pressure. See where we go. That's full pressure, the machine is maxed out. Uh, probably I haven't looked at the gauge, it sounds like it's maxing out. And it is. That's, that makes me really happy. Um, it's absolutely bone dry now. Uh, well, not leaking anymore is what i'm trying to say and um yeah i think i'm just gonna do the cleaning cycle make sure it's absolutely fine bulletproof before i uh before i close it back up but i did really tighten those screw connectors as much as possible um and yeah i don't think it's gonna leak anytime soon if anything the pump might die before the machine starts leaking again with the uh, new seals all around uh, i cleaned the pipes as well um the, the sort of the, the pipe ends the the copper part Sometimes they get a bit of corrosion and a bit of scale, so I give that give that a good clean um, before putting them back in. So the machine should be good to go for a, for a while. Uh, so you can either keep using it until it dies or sell it as is and maybe consider upgrading to the new one. But honestly, it still works fine. If it were my machine, I'd still continue using it uh, unless you really, really need it to upgrade for whatever reason. Um, yeah, happy days.